Hey there, it's me again, Artisan Loom, here with a tutorial for the Wings of Courage, and it's designed by Lumi Pippi. And um, it's got these neat little, I don't know, they look like swirls to me, but it's really cool. And I'm going to attempt to do this one also in somewhat of breast cancer colors. I'm going to do some gray, some white, some pinks. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I bet it would look with awesome with other colors as well, but we're going to go with this one. Okay, so that I can go ahead and mail Shadero's package off with all my breast cancer awareness bracelets. So, okay, without further ado, I know a lot of people say that and it annoys me to death. So I don't know why I just said that, but whatever. We're going to get started. Okay. This is a nine pin bar setup, okay? And it looks just like this, as if you took it out of a box. Okay, so up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? Just staggered just like that, two full loom lengths long. Okay, so go ahead and grab your colors whatever you want to do and I'll meet you back here to get Normally started. don't do this. I'm going back and editing this because I think it's something that you're going to need to know. I've already completed the design and this is it and it's pretty awesome. I have not fixed my bands yet so um, don't mind all the twisted bands because I'm going to go back and fix it but I wanted you to know this. It's super, super long. It's probably, for an average size wrist, going to be way too big. I have an average size wrist, and this is how much bigger it is. Okay, so it's a good, I'd say about that much too big. Okay, so I'm just giving you a heads up so that when you place your bands, um... Well, and I'm going to have to check, but you want to kind of, um, put them as long as, as you want for your wrist. It's, it's kind of a tight design, but it obviously didn't shrink up that much because normally tight designs shrink, but this one just stayed full on long. So, um, just go ahead and, um, cut it down to size what you're, you're going to want when you place your um, bands. So I'm just giving you a heads up on that. If you have a much uh, wider wrist, then you might be okay. But for me, it's gonna slide everywhere if I try to do that. So um, I just wanted to fill you in. So, okay, have fun during the, the design. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this um, Pearl White LE and I took a a bead, it's a spacer bead, and um, I think it's a 6-0, and I'm just placing uh, 24 of these. I don't know if I'll need 24, but that's how many I beaded up. So basically, you're just going to do your border from the center going down and staggering it till you get all the way to the border, just like so, and down. like this and then I'm going to go up one with the plain band on each side and now I'm going to do a beaded band plain beaded plain okay so simple enough I'll show you on this side we're just going to stagger beaded plain beaded plain and we're going to do that on both sides all the way to the top until you come to the center and I'll meet so you now what we're going to do is move on and what she does is she recommends you not using uh, any kind of cylindric or LE bands because we're going to have to do a long stretch and uh, she just thought it might look better without the LE just because of how far it had to stretch she doesn't want you to risk the chance of busting a band so what we're going to do is we're going to start here on this third pin bar and we're going to go over to the left and I'm using um, medieval white and then we're going to go up towards the center 
and then we're going to work downward try to keep my bands as straight as I can and then we're going to go down to right there okay then we're going to go from the center from here to the center okay and at this point that's where our long stretch is going to go from here to there so we're going to go from here to there okay that's how that's going to go and then we are going to go up one and towards the center back down I believe this is going to be the pattern all the way through okay go down one go to the center and do the long stretch again to right there I do believe that's what we're going to do the entire way up Yep, all the way up. So, I'll do one more, and then we shall go off camera and finish. So right here where you ended up here, you're going to bring it up towards the center diagonally. From there, diagonally down. Come down one. Go to the center and then do your long stretch okay so we're going to do this number see how it's making the swirls all the way up we're going to do that to the end we're going to do the mirror image on this side i'll come back and show you how to do the mirror image on this side okay but go ahead and finish this left side all the way to the top so the mirror image on this side is coming from this third pin bar from the right and you're going out diagonally to the right going straight up going in toward the center downward or diagonally downward and then we're going to go towards the center my dog's here dog okay and then we're going to do the long stretch so that's how we're going to do that exactly so we'll go up one it's the last one I'm going to show you and then you can go I'll go off camera and you can finish diagonal Diagonal, down, diagonal to the center, and then a long stretch from the center up. Okay, so that's what we're going to do all the way down. That way it will be mirror image on both sides. So now we're going to work on what's the where she's got the glitter pink right both sides the border. By the way, this is how your stuff should end. It should end right here on there, on both sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Baby Pink Sweets. Get my bands out here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we are gonna go from here. We have to put a band going straight up, okay? And then we're just gonna do a zigzag diagonally. straight zigzag now okay so simple can't even grab a hold of this band and you're just going to do zigzags all the way up the loom just like that okay very simple zigzags to the end you do the same thing on this side you got to go one up here then you got to go downward diagonal upward and then zigzagging all the way to the very end of the loom wow my dog's gonna bust my door down okay so go ahead and finish that all the way to the end okay, so now that we have the zigzags done this is very important you end it right here I know it's going hitting across with the border but that's what you have to put this band going across here on top of that border and the same with here don't forget that okay and then the next thing we're gonna do is um, zigzags up the center and I'm going to switch over into is this burgundy sweets yeah I'm gonna go with burgundy sweets 
Let's try that. I haven't used these in a while. They're one of my favorite colors. But, um, hold on a second. Let me fix something. Ugh. On my computer. Now that I have my burgundy sweets, we're going to start here and we're going to overlap the border as well again. Okay, so we're going to start right there. And then we're just going to do zigzag is, zigzag is, zigzags all the way up just as we did the first time. So this I'm going to go off camera and let you finish the zigzags going all the way up. That's how you start it here. On this side, you're going to bring it downward like that and then start your zigzag. Trying to keep all my bands from being twisted even though they're going to get twisted because they're sticky. Okay, so that's what you do the entire way down the loom, just straight up zigzags. So just be aware that when we started here it was overlapping the border and we overlap the border at the end as well, okay, on both sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is overlap the border again and I'm going to use the same color instead of switching it out. That way I think the swirls will, sh will show a little better. I was going to use gray sweets, but since I have the the, the silver or in the, that's on the white um, medieval bands, I think it'll be too much silver or gray, so I'm going to hold off. But anyhow, you're going to just go down towards the right, and then you're just going to do your zigzags up again, okay? And I try to push the bands down as I go up to help them lay properly. And you're just going to do zigzags as well. This side you're going to go on the border. And then you're going to go do your zigzags as well. Not difficult. Okay, so go ahead and do your zigzags to the end again. So, now that we're done with this, and it didn't really say, but I'm assuming since we followed the border going this way, and we followed the border, you know, with overlapping here, we're going to overlap on these two pegs as well. And if for some reason that's not right, then we'll just take it off when we go back to loop. Okay, so now I'm going to switch back over, and let me grab some more pink sweets. Okay, all right, we're going to go back to the baby pink sweets, and what we're going to do, oh, let me check this for a minute. What we're going to do is we've got to make triangles, so I'm debating on what I want to do here. It's kind of hard to tell from her picture what the triangles look like. But you know what, I think, I think what I'm going to do is do the triangles in one baby pink and then do the zigzags because we have to put triangles going up on both sides and then we're gonna do zigzags. And that'll be the end of the band placement. So I think what I might end up doing, I'm debating on whether to use the glitter pink for the for the triangles and then use the baby pink um what do you call those things <sighs> silks or should i use the silks for the zigzags you know what i'm going to use for the triangles i'm going to switch off and use the baby pink um I don't know if you can see these or not, but these have the little sheen to them. These are the baby pink um, silks. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll just, um, we're going to start the triangle just like that. Okay. And then we're just going to connect it in the center and do like that. And we're going to do this all the way up the loom. And actually, you know what? It's the it doesn't really matter. I don't guess, but I think on her on the it's on the flipogram she sent me, we started on this right hand side or this left hand side. I don't think it matters. It you know I just kind of want to follow her lead. 
it doesn't matter which side you do. But in order for me to tell if I'm doing it correctly, when I'm going back to loop it, I don't know, it helps me. So we're going to do that. Just like that all the way down the loom. And then when we get done with that, I'll do one more. Okay, so we'll do the triangles like that all the way down the loom. Then we'll come back here and we'll do triangles back on this side, just like this. Okay, the reason I'm using these is because it'll give it a different kind of sheen. Yeah, okay, so you'll do this side in triangles going all the way down and then you'll come back and do this side. All right. So now that we have triangles done all the way up the top, now I'm switching back over to my um, pink sweets. And then we are going to do a normal zigzag again. And we've got to go over the border again, um, overlapping it. Okay, and we're just going to do zigzags. So pretty simple. This is pretty band heavy. I didn't realize how band heavy this is. So I'm hoping it's not going to be like super, super tight. Okay, so we're going to do our zigzags going all the way up. Okay. And then we're going to come back on this side and do your zigzags on this side. So do your zigzags all the way up to the top. And then you're going to come back here and we're going to do your zigzags overlapping the border. And do your zigzags all the way up to the top on this side. Okay. So I'm going to go off camera, finish my zigzags going all the way up this side, then come back and finish my zigzags going to this side. Okay, so now that we have it finished uh, with the zigzags, when you get to the top, you're going to end going to the left to the center, right to the center, overlapping the border as well. And then what we're going to do is we have to put um, cat bands. Oh, there's a hair here. It's driving me nuts. Let me get it. I can't handle it. Can't handle it, especially if I see it. Okay. So what we're going to do is put a cat band on each peg. So triple on every peg in the center going all the way down. Ugh. It's all twisted. So you'll need to push all your bands down so that you can fit these on. And just put it on every single peg going all the way down the loom, okay? So I'm gonna go off camera, you put your cat bands on, then we'll be ready to So loom. now that we've got all the cat bands down the center, we're ready to turn the loom around. Okay, now I'm just, sorry, I'm trying to move my, didn't mean to, cause my camera to go crazy but what we're going to do is we're going to go in through the center and through the cat band and grab that one that goes to the left which is the top band and bring it over go back in grab that top band and bring it to the right okay and then let's see here what we're going to do we're going to go in to the next peg Grab that top band, which will go out down um, down to the right. We'll go back in the cat band, grab the next band, which will be the one that goes out to the left. And then we'll go back into this cat band and grab the one that goes downward. Go back in again, upward. So it's going to kind of look like whiskers there. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing all the way down the loom. Okay, so we'll go into this, this peg. And grab that top one that will go down. The next one will go up. And you're just bringing them back to themselves, just like this. And you're going to do that to the very end of 
the loom. So Okay, I'm going to go off camera, finish up. You go ahead and do that part. This is what your loom should look like as of right now. Should end right there. Okay, now what we're going to work on are the triangle bands. It's a little tricky. You see these bands, how they're, they're the ones that are underneath these um, whisker looking things that we've left here, both sides. Okay, so all these. Normally we would go in through the center and bring the triangle back to itself and we'd grab the top, the band that's on top. But this is where she said the tricky part is um, we need to grab the one that's on the bottom. Okay, so this is on the bottom first. You're going to grab that one first. You're going to go in through both, through all of those, including this triangle. Grab this triangle, give it a little bit of a stretch, and then bring it back to itself. Okay? Hopefully that's not too terribly confusing. Okay. And then, let me see what we do now. confuse myself. So what we did was we went into this peg and grabbed the bottom triangle band. And we pulled it out and went over here. Now, as you can see, let me zoom in, show you this part. You see this? This is the next triangle that's on the other side. Okay, see this small band that's right here? We're going to grab this. Give it a little bit of a stretch. You need really good stretchy bands for this. And then pull it back over itself. Okay. So it's going to look like that. Now I do believe we're going to do the same thing going up to the next one. Okay. So we'll go in and grab this bottom triangle, which will be the one that's on the right. Even though this one's the one on top, we're grabbing the bottom one. So we'll go in through all those, grab that, give it a little bit of a stretch, and bring it back to itself. And then there's a little band, the triangle band. Since, it, since we grabbed the bottom one, it attaches itself here. So we need to stick our hook down into this band. Okay, give it a little bit of a stretch, not a lot. You don't want it to, to bust on you. And then just go like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do the whole way down the loom. Go in through this peg, grab this one, we'll give it a little stretch, bring it over the other two pegs. Right beside it is this band, which is the left triangle. We're going to grab it, give it a little bit of a stretch, and we're going to put it onto itself just like that. Okay. So do that the entire way down the loom place. So now we have all this part done. Now we're ready to work on here. What we're going to do is we're going to go in through this peg and grab this band that's going downward, and uh, which is the top band. We're going to grab that, and instead of bringing it back to itself, we're going to pull it straight over to here. Just like that, okay? So that one will go straight over there instead of back to itself. Then we're going to go back in, grab that band, and um, let's see. And we're going to bring it back to itself like normal. Okay? Then we're going to go into this next peg, grab that top band, and instead of bringing it back to itself, we'll just stretch it straight across. Go back in and just bring it back to itself. Okay, so that's what we're looking at doing. Okay, and we'll do that all the way down. So we'll go here, top band, we'll go straight across, the next band will go back to itself. The next peg will go back straight across next band will go back to itself and we're going to do that 
all the way up the loom on this side and we'll do the same thing over here we'll go into this peg grab that top band and bring it straight over instead of back to itself it goes straight over go back into here grab that band and it goes just right back to itself okay go into this peg top band will go all the way long stretch to the right go back in and just back to itself into this peg top band long stretch to the right go back in and it goes back to itself so we're going to do that the entire way up the loom okay so now what we need to do is let's see here we need cat bands and they are going to go on this third pin bar right here and here. So I guess what I'll use is um, my uh, the same color. So we'll put a cat band right here and right here. Okay, now we're ready to work with these zigzags that are going right here, okay? And we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to go in through here and grab that long stretch. Or excuse me, not the long stretch. Grab this band that goes from here. And we're going to do a long stretch to the border. Okay. And then let's see. I'm trying to see if we're doing long stretch and then back to itself. Okay, I do believe we're doing it the exact same way. Long stretch, you'll come in here and then this one will go back to itself. Okay, you'll go in and grab this one and it'll be a long stretch and then this one will go back to itself go back in long stretch and back to itself long stretch and then go up to here and bring this one down back to itself okay so that's how we're going to do this side. Okay. So we'll go over here. The same thing. We're going to go in through here and we're going to do the long stretch out to the border. And then we're going to go up to the next peg and um, make sure you're getting through this band that's this way, okay? And then you're going to grab the one that goes down to the right and you're just bringing it back to itself. And then you're going to go back in, grab this and do the long stretch. Go up here and grab that top band. Well, and bring it back to itself. Now when I say top band, this is actually on top. So you're wanting to go through that. That's part of your cat band and then grabbing the one that goes down there. So then you're going to go in through here on, under all of these and do the long stretch. You're going to go in through here and you're going to grab, you got to go in through this band here. Okay. So you got to make sure you get up underneath that and grab this one and bring it back to itself all the way to the right bring it down to itself to the right okay so you're going to do that part all the way to the end on both sides we're all finished with that now we have this zigzag to do and basically what we're going to do is bring them back to themselves from this second pin bar they're all they're going to go back to themselves okay so we'll go in right here oops and we'll just bring it down go back in and bring it there and we're going to go in through this one instead of going here to here we're going to go here to here 
always pulling it back towards the border okay that's all you have to remember because if you try to go this way nothing it will will fall apart okay so this is basically what we're going to do the entire way up the loom on this side and we're going to do the same thing on the other side i'll show you just a small little snippet here i'm going to go in through here grab that top band bring it down to the right and then just zigzagging okay i'm going to go off camera and finish this and when I get back we'll just do our pattern and then our border and we'll be done okay so when you get to the top here don't forget this band that goes straight up okay we want to make sure we grab that and bring that to the border okay now basically what we're doing is following the pattern so okay so you got the pattern starting right here you're gonna go from here and grab that band and bring it Okay, and then we're going to go right to here and bring this to there. Okay, I'm just trying to see what, what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Hmm. Let me look here. So you went from there to there to there. Now we got to bring this part down. Having a difficult time. Bring this part down. Bring this part diagonal. Okay. And then we're going to come into here and follow it around. Well. Okay. So that's how we start it. And now we continue again. We go right into here. Whatever one's on top, we're, well, it's it all it's all connected. So we're going to go diagonally. Go into here. Diagonal. Down. Diagonal. Diagonal. And then up and then long stretch and then it cycle starts all over again so if you can see it's going like this and you're just gonna follow it around in the little curly Q pattern okay so that's not too difficult I'll do one more <clears throat> Once you do the long stretch, you're going to go diagonal, and then you're going to come back in and grab the one that goes down, and then go back in there and go diagonal towards the left. Well, get my hook off. And then you're going to go diagonal to the left, upper left, straight up, and then a long stretch. Okay? That's how you're going to do it. On this side, you're going to go into here, and grab the long stretch okay then you're gonna go towards oops that's wrong or is it no nope, we're gonna go diagonal I'm gonna go in here and grab this band and bring it down go into here bring it diagonal so all we're doing is just following the pattern. It's just harder for me to see. Okay, once we get up here, we're gonna do the long stretch just like that. And then we're gonna go to the yeah. left or the long stretch. Then you go um, towards the left. And you're gonna go in here and grab this band and bring it downward. Go into this one and bring it diagonally. And then we are going to go into here and go diagonal, up, and a long stretch. Okay? So that's how we're going to do it. It's just going to be following itself. Well, let's see. 
it came here and went around like this and you're just going to follow it all the way to the top. So go ahead and finish all of that. The pattern's all done. Now all we have left is the border. So we're just going to go in through the center. I think you guys all know how to do a border. And I guess I should have said this earlier. If you chose to do, you could have put a double border on this. Oops, excuse me. That's wrong. Um, now she didn't do it, but... She usually doesn't have a problem with you throwing a double border on there in case you want to chain it. But I didn't put it on mine. And then you're just going to go straight up. Okay? And do it on both sides. <clears throat> really? 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 Okay, I need to find another white one. I need to fix that. So I'm going to pull one up through here, put it there, come right here, bring it above here, put it back into place, and then I'm going to grab it, bring it down. And then I'm going to go in here and bring it up. So now it's all caught. Okay. Only broke one band so far, so that's good. It's not, I mean, I would have thought it would be a lot tighter design. I mean, because it is really band heavy. But, of course, now I have a ton of extenders on. So that's probably why it's not buckling. See that? I don't know. Um, so then you're just going to follow your border all the way um, to the top and meet me up there with the C-clip and then we can take it off. Actually, yeah, just do that. And then you basically come all to the center. You put your hook down through all of it, throw your band on, bring your hook towards you so it doesn't get hooked on any of the bands and stick it on the hook. And I think you guys know how to take this off of the loom, so I'm not going to go through that process. Basically, you're going to use your hook. I'll just show you a couple. You're going to just loosen the tension carefully because there's a ton of bands. Down this left side. Down this right side. And then loosen the tension on the next two pin bars. And then go through each each one using your hook to pop it off. Okay, I'll meet you back here with mine off the loom. Just took it off the loom. And it did not fall apart. So yay me. Look at this. It is huge. Look how big. You have to have some big wrists to wear that. It's, it's a good, uh, I don't know. About that much too big for me. So if you technically could have stopped whatever the top of this one is. If you if you um, didn't want it so long. But just take it and stretch it out. and Both ways. And who knows, it may just pop back into shape. I've had some that were really big and then they just after just it'll shrink a little bit but anyhow that is pretty awesome i absolutely love it it almost looks like hearts almost thought it at first that it may resemble um dazzling hearts i think that's the name of it but it doesn't because of this whole center this is like little coils so it's really really cool i really like this a lot but they kind of have like a heart look to them but really really neat have to fix a ton of bands you know to get the colors that how I want them to lay um, but you know that's how I am everything takes work I never accept how it comes off the loom I always try to untwist my bands just to give it a much cleaner look and I just really think 
that if you take the time, because it took so much time to do to do the design, if you just take that little bit extra and try to uh, untwist them, you'll you'll love your design or the design even better. You'll love your bracelet better. So, anyhow, it's awfully big. I think it's kind of the same on the side, some similar. But I've got to go through, fix my beads, fix my bands, and. Um, yeah, this is so super awesome. And I believe it's called Wings of Courage because actually these are kind of like wings too. So that's probably why she named it that. And what a cool looking name that is. I'm just sorry that I couldn't get it out for breast cancer awareness. But I will be sending this cuff bracelet in breast cancer colors to Chidero. Uh, for her to give out to her cancer patients. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. It's very simple. Don't think I made a mistake other than the band that got snapped on me, which wasn't my fault anyhow, so I'm pretty proud of myself. And uh, hopefully you will give it a try. And if you do, if you could tag and hashtag tag both of us, uh, Lumi Pippi on Instagram. So Okay, give me a follow on uh, on YouTube as well, and um, I also have a Facebook page called um, Artisan Limb Bead Queen. Okay, until next tutorial, take care. Bye.